A terrifying home invasion robbery in the Bronx, and police are asking for your help tonight. Police say a group of armed men stormed into a Kingsbridge apartment, beat up a grandmother, and threatened to shoot a five-year-old child. <laughs> See, man, that's why you need me king of America, man. Let me be king. Elect me king of America, man. Elect me king of America, man. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Sign a petition, man. Let me be king of America. This shit will stop yesterday, man. I will stop this in one day. No, better yet, if y'all collect me king of America on Friday, by Monday, this will all be fixed. I'll fix this in the course of one weekend, man. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Start the um start the wave. Op Nation for King of America, man. I need to be king because I can't be president. I don't want to deal with Congress and the Senate and all that bullshit. Just give me unilateral authority. I will end this over the weekend. Okay. <laughs> I will end this over the weekend. You won't have to worry about none of this shit, man. <laughs> none of these crazy ass headlines, man. <laughs> Salute to TCT. He says, been missing the lives lately. Well, you ain't missed nothing because I was in fucking DC and the Airbnb had terrible um internet connection, man. So um you ain't missed nothing, man. I mean you missed some good shows, but you, the, the 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 um the videos wasn't playing right. Whoa, excuse me. Yeah, man, you got a nine hour car ride. Wow, man, Jesus Christ. I did four hours today. Four, I think maybe four and a half because I got, I missed my exit. I missed my exit in the mountains. When you miss your exit in the mountains, So I missed my exit, so I had to put another 30 minutes on my ride. But yeah, nine hour ride? Jesus Christ. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, you won't have to worry about this no more. This shit, I will end this and over the weekend. A terrifying home invasion robbery in the Bronx, and police are asking for your help tonight. Police say a group of armed men stormed into a Kingsbridge apartment, beat up a grandmother, and threatened to shoot a five-year-old child. This happened this past Wednesday in an apartment in the vicinity of Gate Place and West Gun Hill Road. Pixel Steve Kush has more for us and is now on the scene with the very latest. Steve, do we have any idea why they targeted this particular home? There's a pretty good chance these suspects knew that there was something valuable inside this apartment. Police say once these guys got into the apartment, they forced their way into a back room and a bedroom where there was a secure safe. And inside that safe was $40,000. $40,000 in the safe, man. What did he say? What he say in that song? I forgot that song. Um, kick in the door, waving the four four. All you said was "Mama, don't hit me no more." No, not that one. Not that one. That's the other. Uh, that's get money. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's okay. She was old anyway. <laughs> He said, he said, she ain't want to show me the safe. He said, Grandma didn't want to show me the safe. It's okay. She was old anyway. <laughs> I display hot that shit around ready. Cock back 11 lines steady. What did you think he said? It's okay. She was old anyway. <laughs> Wow. 
<laughs> your mama actress. He said, he said, your mom's an actress. Didn't want to show me the safe. It's okay. She was old anyway. <laughs> man, rap is crazy, man. That song was on the radio. Stuck you for your keys in your pissy mattress. Your mama actress didn't want to show me the safe. It's okay. She was old anyway. Secure safe. And inside that safe was $40,000. Where these suspects are tonight is something police and this family really want to find out. A peaceful morning inside a family's apartment at this Bronx apartment building came to an immediate stop with a knock on the door. It was 8 a.m. Wednesday, April 26th, when three young men showed up at this Kingbridge apartment, according to investigators. They say things went bad. Damn. As soon as a woman in the home opened the door for these unknown men, authorities believe... Why would you open the door for some unknown men? Jesus Christ. These are the suspects pictured here, all believed to be between the ages of 18 and 20 years old. From a security camera, we can see them make their way inside the apartment. To show they weren't messing around, police say the men pointed a gun at the woman's five-year-old son and threatened to shoot him if she didn't obey them. The men then used... They look like hombritos, man. These look like hombritos, man. Look at them hands, man. These look like hombritos, man. Look at that hand, man. Is that a glove? If that's not a glove, I don't know if that's a glove, man. That might be a glove. I don't know. Say the men pointed a gun at the yeah, woman's gloves, five-year-old gloves. son and threatened to shoot him if she didn't obey them. The men then used a handgun to pistol whip the woman's 58-year-old mother. You gotta do something about it. Cause... Pistol whip the 58-year-old mother. The grandmother. Beat pistol whip grandma, man. Your mom's an actress. Didn't want to show me the safe. It's okay. She was old anyway and threatened to shoot him if she didn't obey them. The men then used a handgun to pistol whip the woman's 58-year-old mother. Yeah, they gotta do something about it, because it's, ev it's ev everywhere, even on the trains, you know, it's like crazy people around everywhere. Police say the robbers forced the woman into a back bedroom where there was a secure safe located. Inside it, investigators say, was $40,000 cash. As the armed men left the apartment, we can see what appears to be a safe in the hands of one of the robbers. The apartment is located near West Gun Hill Road, just north of Jerome Avenue. The suspects are covered from head to toe with just their eyes showing. One is even wearing gloves. This was real organized, man. These on burritos, man. These ain't sons, man. These these on burritos, man. It's the Bronx too. This might be on burritos, man. This was this. What y'all think? Sons, uh, was the, hit one for sons, hit two for home burritos, man. Gloves. All three are around five feet eight inches tall with light complexions and slim. Th All three are around five foot eight with light complexions. That's on burritos, man. Five foot eight with light complexions. If they were sons, one of them motherfuckers would be six something. with just their eyes showing. One is even wearing gloves. All three are around five feet, eight inches tall with light complexions and slim physiques, according to investigators. Two of the robbers fled in a gray sedan. Another drove off in a dark blue SUV. The woman and her son, along with her mother, were left shaken, but thankfully not seriously harmed. Left shaken, but not seriously harmed? Shit. You get pistol with that serious harm, man. The robbers fled in a. Uh oh, I think I got it. I think I solved it. Hold on. The robbers fled. Look at that. Straight up and down. You know, sons, our jaws protrude, man. We got prognathism, man. Sons' jaws protrude. These people's faces going up and down. Their faces straight up and down. That's 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 on burritos, man. Sons got protruding draw jaws, man. Our jaws, um, our jaw protrude is called prognathism. 
That ain't no sun, man. These on burritos, man. You see? You see how suns, our jaws, our jaws protrude, pause. See how suns, our jaws protrude. Everybody else's face go up and down. Well, not everybody, but um, Glider's face go, Glider's face goes, comes in. Their mouth and shit comes in, pause. <laughs> yeah, these these ain't these ain't sons, man. We off the hook on this one. But in a gray sedan, another drove off in a dark blue SUV. The woman and her son, along with her mother, were left shaken, but thankfully not seriously harmed. Now we did talk to the woman who lives inside that apartment with her family. She tells us every knock at her door brings up more terrifying memories of that awful incident. Again, this situation happened on Wednesday morning. If you know anything at all about this, please contact the police. Your mom's actress didn't want to show me the safe. It's okay. She was old anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 